Do you ever find yourself complaining, saying, oh my God, why did I lose all the things that I worked so hard for? Whether it was the boyfriend, the girlfriend, the body that you once had, it doesn't matter what area in life. Here's the deal, when it comes to working hard and achieving your goals, most people cannot keep the success, success in any area of their life. So in today's episode of the podcast and YouTube show, we're gonna dive deep on how to get success, but most importantly, keep it. Stay tuned. Hey, this is Jason Roselle and welcome to Get Inspired, the official podcast and YouTube show that will empower your mind, body, business, social media branding, relationships, and anything that's holding you back from becoming the best version of you. Listen, before I became a TV personality, an author, a celebrity trainer, a life and wellness coach, and the founder of Caliente Fitness, I was broke, obese for 20 plus years, full of stretch marks, full of excuses, and most importantly, here's the deal, I was unhappy. I was able to change my life completely and since then, I've helped thousands do the same. This show is gonna bring you awesome guests, tons of helpful programs that'll aid you, but most importantly, your questions and topics that will make this show your show. My question is this, are you ready to get inspired? Well, get ready, because the show starts now. All right, so either you want to get success or you want to keep success. Look, it doesn't matter whatever option in life or whatever area in life you're in right now. In order for you to have success in whatever category, you got to make sure you go all in, right? Business, relationships, your body. I'm not going to give you the whole protocol on how to actually be successful because I'm not an expert in every area of life. I only have my main things that I work on myself because I have succeeded. Most importantly, I've kept and remain success. So let's give an example. Say it's a famous musician, right? They had a top charting hit track. Do you think because they had the popular song that everybody listened to on the radio, they quit or they got complacent? Well, actually a lot of people, a lot of musicians have. But the most successful ones, while the music was rotating on the radio and they're touring when they're not doing any of those things they're what in the studio right working on more music working with the pr team marketing team to ensure that music is getting done branding is phenomenal and they keep rolling and rocking right so let's take you as an example it doesn't matter if it's in music or in any area of your life once you've reached reach that pinnacle of success that's when the hard work really starts anybody can become successful anybody can become famous but how do you keep calm have balance and keep thriving right i need you to really ask yourself like wait a minute am i doing this because i love what i do am i doing it for the right reasons and how do i keep going The answer is simple, don't stop. Don't get complacent. And most importantly, don't let your ego take over. Because most people live through ego and they think, oh, I lost 100 pounds. And guess what? I ain't gonna go work out as much as I did. I ain't gonna go do cardio as much as I did before. I'm not gonna eat as good as I once was. No, you're going about it the wrong way. You. If you worked hard to attain those goals in any area of your life, once you actually reach success, that is when you work harder. When I lost weight, right, I was only doing 20, 30 minutes of cardio, right, many years ago. Now I can do up to 60 minutes if I want to. Not that I do 60 minutes each time, but I have the power now just like you have the power. So if you've once had power and authority in any categories of your life, right, you can get back there if you, lo- if you lost your touch, if you lost your power. And just remind yourself, hey, I'm going to work hard to get there, but I have to work even harder to keep going, to keep it rocking and rolling. Are you with me? I hope so. Look, take time to really write down all the things that you want in this life and apply as much time in each area that you deem 
necessary. Now, if you're kind of unsure of how to go about this, go ahead and check out my private one-on-one -on -one mindset performance coaching. This is what I do on a weekly basis here in the United States and overseas via phone, via Zoom. Do not sleep on it because we all need mentors. We all need coaches. I mean, hello, I'm a coach, but I'm, I call myself the billion dollar student because I'm constantly learning. I'm constantly working with different coaches and mentors, right? You got to keep thriving. doesn't matter what goal it is. Don't be shy. Drop me a comment. Throw me one of these. Yes, those big thumbs up. And most importantly, just go for it. And if you have negative thoughts that are taking over, guess what? Fear and negative thoughts is normal. It means you're doing something out of your comfort zone because anything in your comfort zone is never, and I mean never, gonna get you the results you want. Get inspired, stay inspired, and most importantly, keep it caliente. I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're a new viewer and don't forget to click on the bell so you can get notifications every time a new show releases. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and feel free to leave your comments. I'm Jason Roselle and you're watching Get Inspired with Jason.